There's so much heart in this script. You really see four brothers deal with very human emotion, which is unique for, for a franchise that's, that's rooted in ninja turtles, you know, mutated teenaged mutant turtles. So uh, that's, that's been so fun to, to dig around in um, and to play with is, is, is really how, how human these four are beneath beneath the green uh, and and for Leo I think it's dealing with really keeping keeping his family together at all costs this time around I think Leo has the confidence that he's always sought as a leader uh, you know and he, he finally has earned a lot of the respect of his brothers uh, and a lot of the trust um, that that he is the man for the job that he does know what he's doing. So now we have, this time around, Shredder's escaped, which for Leo is something he, he never thought would be possible. And, and here he has to face the, the threat again, you know, of, of New York City's greatest villain, really. But enter Krang who reveals himself very early to be far superior in power to Shredder, um, to truly be a global threat, uh, and which, which raises the stakes, and which I think makes this movie so big, so global in scope, uh, and it really makes for a, for a fun ride. Bringing in all of these new characters this time around just helps flesh out this world and it really enriches this story uh, and only helps to ground us as the turtles in our in in our story uh, we're now more than ever we're surrounded by by allies by other vigilantes by uh, people all trying to beat back shredder and beat back krang and to and to save new york city and so that helps that helps build that momentum and build that, that, that energy of saving New York City. I got to meet Steven and, um, and Gary, and the minute you meet them, you get it. It clicks. And you see Bebop, you see Rocksteady, and they've got this wonderful dynamic. Uh, and those, there's, it doesn't get any, it, those... Only in the Turtles universe could you get away with a Bebop and a Rocksteady. And so it's, it's, it's really exciting to see the producers really run with that and know that they, they can still ground these larger than life characters, this warthog and a rhino in this world, and it totally works. And so it's fun to see that uh, them come to life. Casey Jones is, is such an icon and to have Steven come on board uh, was so fun. Every time John Travolta is in the bathroom, in Pulp Fiction, something bad happens. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click playlist for more trailers.